them so like it's gonna be difficult anyway um and like their captain's clever and he does get some tricky things on the board so that'll be interesting to see what he comes up with in drafts but hopefully okay i'm coming into the game like awesome. when restoring to dota 2 network as i came in yeah they're literally quick... just moving into the draft right now so not missing anything at this point i do a quick shout out before we get in because my girlfriend's watching oh my god <laughs> And, be, and shout out to Knoxville because he got home and he's alive, which is great. Wow. Especially after last night when he, he was. Made it. We, we were drunk and like in, in sloughed out in Greenside in Joburg, which was great. So shout out to Fabulousness, my girlfriend. That's her nickname. Oh, man, that's so sweet. <laughs> the Zoot live stream connecting people. Maybe I should make that oh. like the slogan or something. <laughs> It'll work well. It, it's very catchy. <laughs> I think it's probably like a telecom slogan. But anyway, whatever, whatever. We're getting back into the draft right here. Um, and we haven't got the bristle back getting banned. And let's see. First pick will be for Johannes Nidibastny. Did I say it right? And they yeah. removed well Bristleback. I think Infinity are like, hey. yeah, you're probably not going to give us Bristleback this time. So we'll <laughs> get rid of it before you can take it. So, so Benno, CM, Visage's Arts. Um, Pugna, probably worth it. Uh, Clark next. CM is usually first pick face. What yeah, I see CM Bravado is usually. do. Bravado every yeah. time they play and CM's not removed. It's like, all right, first pick we'll take CM. Thanks. Yeah. Well, Scan likes to build around sort of uh, heroes being independent, and that helps a lot with CM. Like your hero can use its spells to get an advantage and then get its mana back faster than mm. your the other team. So that's why he races highly as 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 well as having a good spell set. Absolutely. And the Venomance are being taken, so maybe they're taking a leaf up. Uh, Infinity's style over here. Yeah. So a turn and burn. Hopefully we won't see the exact stomp in the opposite order. Although then you would get your game three. So I don't know. Yeah. Depends. I mean, clock next. I don't think it's super likely. I don't think Infinity will want to commit so a um, an off laner uh, straight off the bat. Yeah. And then put them uh, in the safe lane. Nyx isn't bad to pick up early because of the versatility. Clock not so much. Mm -hmm. But still, Clock's really strong. Oh, let's see him. Anna Fury on okay. Uh, I'm guessing Furion's going to be on the off lane, yeah. presumably. Furion not usually being picked up uh, in the early stages that much anymore. Not for any particular reason. It's just been more easy to deal with it since the Shadow Blade nerf, and uh, generally the games are less split pushy. Mm -hmm. So and like with Nyx, heroes like Nyx and Clark being so popular, Furion often finds himself in trouble. Yeah, and this is already going to show a little bit of pushing power. Ten seconds what Jen is gonna be doing in response to that one before we get to the second stage of the Five dance. Seconds remaining. They already seem to be thinking a lot longer than they were beforehand. Yeah, that's Reserve good idea. Yeah. I mean, who is the uh, the um, the picker, the, the captain? The uh, drafter for... Uh, yeah, that one. It's it's Mull, uh, M-A-L, I think is the picker. I know they do talk about it quite a lot. Helbert's sort of a new player in their team. He's kind of been... He was in Dota 1. He was sort of around a lot. We see that the Luna pick up, so sort of Venno and Luna, two heroes that just beat them, and now in their lineup, probably thinking, hey. It's very early, though, picking uh, their carry. I mean, it's not, yeah. gonna be, not, not really going to be doing anything else. And then we've got OD. I, every single second ban phase, I see OD getting removed. Yeah. It just seems to be the most typical thing to happen. <laughs> Kelsey just told me that I, I embarrassed her a lot. <laughs> I'm so glad I could be a part of this. <laughs> so, yeah, this can I say hi as well? That's, Hello. Yes, of course you can. <laughs> um, so I'm also just giving this to try everyone. But the next pick up, pretty interesting. Uh, third pick, so not used to that. Obviously, banning out Bane and Clark, both very good against Snakes. So, like, obviously, what uh, what's good about this and what's good in Dota is that I actually have a plan. They obviously have some sets and ideas and sets of ideas that will come together as the draft develops, but they have a plan for what they want to do next, and that's very good. It shows they're in a position of strength, and I like that. So, go them. I, I think Jin does a plan, but it's a lot more vague. It's they, they're kind of yeah. finding it harder to visualize I mean, exactly what's going to be happening. Like, Batrider is sort of the direct counter pick. Like they pick next, we pick Batrider because he has net, and you can net him when he's in rage, and it's generally good against Bat against Lifesteal. But Batrider is very hard here to fit in these days because he has absolutely zero damage. I nearly saw that. Um, Careful. BS damage. Um, so, yeah, like, I still think the heroes, and I actually think that it can work off lane pretty well. But you, it also has to be the right matchups, and you also have to be like play it very well. Time. You have to know like where the heroes are and have an instinct about what's about to happen. Like, are they going to come behind me? Because if not, I can't fight. Because three heroes hitting me, well, I can't do much. But if it's just one hero and I can skate over him with my with my skating abilities, because I'm a bat skater, then I'll do that. 
Is that what it's called in this scene? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I like it. The bat skates him because he just <laughs> skates around. <laughs> uh, I I can still see as a, as a newbie of Dota, uh, I can I can kind of see what Infinity would like to do though. I mean, Life Stealer could just jump into the Prophet. But I'm kind of half yeah. expecting a Puck or a Storm Spirit to go into mid, as that just generally combos pretty damn well with the Life Stealer. Yeah. Some kind of blink hero, basically. Yeah, so, so it's, it's a better transportation of I seen. The Furion isn't. I think the Furion is sort of an off laner that can jungle if things get hard. So mm -hmm. that's what they want to do in picking up experience. Uh, once it hits six, that ulti can contribute everywhere. It's really nice, especially if you if you figure if you if you get your Furion his levels early, that can just like turn a game, turn a fight, make it yours. Because say you you fall behind, say you like three four four zip behind like Jennifer were last game, you go and have a fight and then zip Furion ulti. All your supports have taken two hundred extra damage and. You're in trubs. You are in trubs. In you know, trubs. If, in trubs. They've got the troubles coming towards you. The you're, devil. You're like a chav in England, man. Cool. This is crazy. Oh, please. Oh. <laughs> no, don't be so rude. I'll tell my mom on you. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so AA -A -A picked up again for Infinity, working well last time. They have the ice strats and supports. Okay, and I Cop being picked up for Jinder. I thought that we were going to see a Batrider mid, because that's the only position no. I ever really seem to play. And no, no, jungle, no. maybe? Batrider is Bat -rider's like offlane slash jungle now. I can't play mid. Well, it can if you're like a professional player, like uh, I know um, Fatal Blades it's mid quite well, very well, very, very well. Um, but yeah, no, I think the, the co-op will be the mid and the bat sort of like offlane slash jungle. Uh, Batrider bat rider could work well. I mean, obviously not as strong as he was back uh, earlier last year. Yeah. But uh, if Batrider gets a good start, gets a very early blink, and I can see him being effective to pick off a few kills. But I think they might, they, they almost need something where they can get some kills even earlier on. There doesn't seem to be any pre five minute Dynasty fights. Big. Yeah, um, if, there's, if there's no pressure on them, you can get his blink very quickly in the worst six, seven minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, have you tried toggling your, your in game? I mean, just. I have, I have, I've, I have yeah. tried, and it's just. It's yeah, it's, it's at the mixer here. Piranha. Pardon? Yeah, sorry, I'm just talking to Benny. He says your new setup with the mixer that's causing no, issues. No, it's not. It's not the mixer, but I am plugged in, so that might be. It shouldn't though. Yeah, it's weird. It doesn't make sense to me. But um, Potem being picked up is the last pick. So there's you are missing games with Potem, and I have it. And then Enigma, so Jen been going sort of very airy at the moment. So we have really definitely ha got a jungle hero though from Jen. Yeah. I think the bat is gonna be an off laner with the Enigma in the jungle, the Venom and the Luna bottom. But this might encourage Infinity to. Play the, and I think that what they're going to do is play the bottom as a safe laner, and we'll just, they're going to go aggro try lane with the, the bottom. With the next they just got an, an immediate smoke. Yeah. No, no hesitation okay, the, whatsoever. The, the bottom's going mid, but the, there's going to be the next try lane with the CM. So uh, I'm going to quickly run through Jinovin this time. So Jinovin Mal leading the charge forward on the Veno. Hellbird is the carry on the Luna. Spheres on the Enigma. Going mid is DJ Vega on the uh, Queen of Pain, and probably in the bush slash offlane is Zenimath on the Batrider. And oh, looks like it's gonna be a rush. They've gone for Chilling Touch. All right, do you want to just quickly jump? To well, I'll say quickly. We've got Suzy Q on the Life Stealer, Phalanx playing the AA, O'Malley on the CM, Adastam on the Marana. He likes playing with arrows, and Zerstor is gonna be on Furion. And they're going for it. Yeah, I mean they they they've got frostbites. They're gonna need some salves though. They've got one salve. Here come trees in now. Another stun taken. Quick, uh, sneaky, good luck, have fun. There by Anderson. Uh, <laughs> this mind games here, man. It's just mind, mind games. games. Oh god, I, I do enjoy it though. I don't often get to see a one minute rush. Rush on half HP. Uh, they use the frostbite to take him down. They've got something touch, so they don't have the cold feet. Then they, they use them, the open wounds to take down. CZQ is taking a lot of damage. One more hit, oh. he gets bashed. Doesn't get bashed, very lucky. Here comes the arrow. Arrow's gonna disable rush for a while. But that needs to go down. This is a very slow level 1 rush strategy. The Furion could be in trouble here if he gets bashed. No, okay. It goes to Stomp. Now we have the <laughs> AA tanking. He's gotta go down. This is really yeah. intricate, man. What kind of things are going on? This seems harder than the last game was. Yeah. They're obviously trying to challenge themselves. Looks like the CM's gonna oh. sack herself. One more bash. No, the next Oh my go god, down. next! <laughs> they get it. Oh dear. <laughs> but oh, the heck, he's gonna get Venom! He can get some kills! He's gonna get a kill on Nyx! No, he can't get it! Sorry, Nyx even. Oh dear. Nyx had the Aegis, so I wouldn't have Yeah, like. It was ours all along. 
that was sad. Well, that was really upsetting. Okay, it's fine. Okay, you give away level one rush. Just, just cut your losses, get to your lanes, and hope for, for hope for something good to happen. Don't give away first blood as well. Yeah, it's just a snowball effect. So, Jinovin, gonna have to. I've got a cheeky off. smile on my face though for Infinity. <laughs> that level was quite humorous. Um, I'm getting more advice. Uh, apparently, if you check that your in-game mic is the device one. Uh, then your bar will pick up what you're speaking. It, it, it is. It is exactly okay. that, but it's not doing it. That's why I'm very confused. Well, Dota's hard. Yeah, Dota is a very it. difficult game, and I'm not winning at the moment. Yeah, that's fine. I, I don't blame you. I blame Orange Jesus. <laughs> anyway, no, I, I, If you could you, express my apologies to the people watching in game, this will certainly yeah. be fixed for tomorrow's uh, so, game. Yeah, it'll be fixed for tomorrow for BNR against Lib. The, the, high, the, the Monday Night Madness Clash. Um, anyway, it's not. This isn't a train wreck for Jinovin. They, I think they just need to get their heads calmed down. Like their levels behind. That's oh. fine. But well, I was just checking out mid. Almost got an arrow there. But actually, DJ Vega managed to turn things around and get a good amount of damage. Yeah, Quad Park puts a lot of damage. And he does have his own tango. So, although Sam already has the bottle up from that uh, rush. And the first blood, so he's got a lot of gold and some boost. Gosh, sheesh, this is hard lane for Kof now. Kof has to just be defensive and farm, and that's what he's doing. He's doing it alright. I mean, the opponent's pulling ahead and will pull ahead even further with this bottle advantage. Oh, we've got double damage over here, and that is going to be Marana taking it. Is he going to try and push into bot? No, he's going to go back over to mid. But if yeah, an arrow lands there, then uh, we'll, we'll see a dead Kof. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult to land there unless the Kof sort of stands in the wrong place, so he's just going to come back into lane and sort of try. Maybe get some harassment off if he gets a cop low enough. Like leap, insta arrow, mm -hmm. starfall. Try and get a double starfall. Maybe when he hits level five, he gets a bit more damage on the starfall. So yeah, yeah be interesting be to see. Uh, meantime, top. It's going right for the bat rider. It's level three and a half now, so he's getting his levels. The Veno is uh, bushing. Oh, oh whoa, we just saw a death happening. Where did that happen? It was Still a neutral. Okay. <laughs> Game is very hard. Sorry about that, should be looking at HP bars, but didn't really expect. I mean, the game's sort of hitting a passive state now, which is fine for Jinovin. Oh, right, here we go, I understand this oh, one. There's the lead. He hasn't popped his DD, he popped his DD too late. It gets one more hit off, it's not enough. Jinovin, I mean, v DJ Vega uses his bottle. It's very important that uh, DJ Vega doesn't give up a kill, though. Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, really, if he does give up a kill in the mid, then it's just going to hold foundations for what could be good for them in this game, it's just going to completely fall apart. Yes. So he's gonna ha he's gonna have to play some really solid. Dead. And Mal, what's Mal up to at the moment? I, I need to find him. Who's he playing on? Oh, I'm searching even. Right. Okay, Veno. And oh, he 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 was the one. Oh, arrow just he misses. Leaps forward under tower. Amstam could be in trouble here. DJ Vega Whoa. doesn't have enough mana for more screens. Oh, and O'Malley's now mid. Oh, Is he gonna get off the frostbite? No, there's the blink. Good good job saving the it's blink. It's gonna happen. If DJ Vega had more mana, he could have killed Adam Stam, but he would have died with the CM being there. Uh, if the CM could have been in a better position at the start, he could have killed. It was a classic turn and burn, baits and switch. Yeah. Uh, DJ Vega's really taking a big risk here. Oh, yeah, okay, he's getting off, but there's a haste on the bottom. Is the bottom going to try to charge him down? No, no Adam Stam. Probably, it's probably the right decision as well. He's got, oh, he's got his phase boots already. Sends an arrow. Not going to hit anything. And. DJ Vega goes home with the screens between his legs. So the Mal, I think he's relegated himself back to the jungle. He's like, okay, I need to stop putting myself out there. Giving up first blood in both games now. Mm. I don't want to be the second person to die as well as the first. Yeah, and you're right. Which and he's doing it. And this is what he, they should be doing. And this is how they'll equalize. Like they've equalized it at 1,000 e experience, which isn't that bad. Like it's fine. 1,000 exp behind. The cop now just needs to try. Don't worry about getting too aggressive. Like, if the bottom gets aggressive, try to take advantage of that. But he has a haste, you know, this is gonna be difficult. That's awful. Starstorm even is just so painful, and immediately DJ Vega's gonna back off. There might be an optimistic uh, arrow coming out of Adam's time. Well, DJ Vega charge. needs his, his ulti now so he can present, like, actual threats and just try last hit from as far away as possible. It's a really difficult situation to be in. Let's get those last hit charts up. We're not actually winning it at the moment, but we're seeing it. This is already a big turn in, in last game. The second and third place taken up by uh, Gen Heroes. Yeah. Even net worth is a, is a bit better split, although the bottom's really far ahead. Bottom ulti being used. 
Yep. See him. He tried to make a move so in mid, but it, it, he didn't really get anything done. Okay. It was well, a well played by DJ Vega. Just good game sense. I, I don't know if actually the Marana showed himself through the tower. I don't think mm. so. Rush. The oh, Aegis going down in 30 seconds. At so long last. Well. Although you know it's not not really been anything clutch at all. It's not like they've been able to also push the towers yeah. or really push themselves out there. Life oh, here comes an arrow. Oh. Nice. I didn't see ah. the direction on that one. Sort of, uh, he was here. What's the... Southwest. Yes. <laughs> south by Southwest. I think Lifestealer's gonna be going for the Midas. Uh, yeah, it does look like he's saving up money. The bat's doing pretty well top. I mean, obviously not being put under that much pressure with the Fury and sort of pushing. Mm -hmm. He's been pushing. He's got phase boots, so he's not going Midas first either. And now we see the two supports moving into the bush. This could be dangerous. Oh, the oh, could be back there, no, though. Mal. Oh, you make me cry. Oh, we've got a, a, a small stun there onto O'Malley, but there can't be any pressure. And in fact, we've oh, got there goes the black hole. But is there anyone else? They've got, we've got teammates coming in. There it is. Queen of Pain does get a kill down on the AA, and here comes uh, the life stealer. Oh, this could be another one over here. Oh, there it is. Nice little in first. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Helvet's got his ulti. He does. Oh, we've got another turn on the side. Enigma, he's going to fall there to the the Prophet. No, he can't get that last hit in. There it is. We've got the Eclipse. And we are starting to get some work done now for the Jin players. Suzy Q does get another kill onto Mal. One more hit. Can he find him, though? He doesn't have enough doesn't uh, have mana for the Luminescent. <laughs> He's going for a Midas. Oh no, he's going to the arrow help it falls! <laughs> what a shame. So good for oh man, shame. Just that it's like, you can see how, temp how tempting it was to get it. Good black hole by Sphere got it on too. Unfortunately the support couldn't get there fast enough. But Helvet sort of ran back as that happened. Like, if he had gone straight, straight ahead forward as like, uh, the Venno died, he could have done a lot of damage. Now we're going to see the, the Fury come in and, and split with, well, coming in. Put a lot of pressure with his uh, treants. Yeah. So, yeah, that tower is. Yeah. Which is going to put a lot of pressure because that opens up the jungle. Bottom. You can have a lot of easy rotations in from this tower. Not vision. So, there's a lot of pressure. And not much of a trade coming for that. So, IFG increasing their lead. What could have been a great fight for Jinvin turns out to be below average and probably IFG coming out on top, especially with the tower after it. Yeah, they, I mean, they were about to make a bit of a recovery on the golden XP charts until things turned around. And Mal, you know, I was saying that things could turn around. He won't be the second person to die as well as the first. He was the second and the third person to die. Oh, uh, gosh. He's not having a fun day. No, not at all. It's a hard life as a support. It uh -oh. is. Uh-oh. No, he's going to try and skate away. Thanks That's for your terminology. Oh, and the arrow picked up by DJ, DJ Vega can't rid of him. Oh, just the stun comes out. Star Storm will still leave. Oh, the double Star Storm hits him. Is he going to be able to get a Sphere? Oh, nice. Great TP off by Sphere. And Sam, could you go down to these? Thingy in the jigs. Eidolons. Doesn't look like it. He's going to Star Storm them. Oh, he's got to oh. be careful though. He can't stay much closer. Mal got killed over here. By the Nature's Prophets. So oh things man. are getting out of control again for Jin Dibin. Not very good for them, I don't think. No, I totally agree. Mm. It'd be pretty difficult for me not to. Although, you know, even though they lost out on a one minute rush, they are actually doing better than yeah, last game. Yeah, they were game. fine. That fight bike could have gone really well for them too. I mean, they killed off two of the heroes pretty quickly and then they, they killed off the next, but they sort of didn't go for the creep the next is in. Like, they could have just all hit that creep and turn around the fight. I mean, they went to deal with the Nature's Prophet, which is fine, mm -hmm. but like, if they just they been hesitated. a bit more decisive earlier, like, Helbert could have been more decisive before the fight, or like, as the Venno went down, because he, he had his ulti, he could have just popped it on the two supports. Then the Enigma made a good play, uh, then Helbert made sort of a bad play, because he just used his ulti when there were lots of trance around, uh, mm -hmm. and then they hit the next, which was a good play, but they weren't able to finish it off, so it's just like this... Absolute pendulum of good and bad. Yeah, I mean, they, they shouldn't have hesitated maybe and just gone on that group because they seem to know exactly which one it was. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they should have. Anyway, I mean, Enigma's nearly getting a mech. That could be big. Mal dodges another arrow and thanks RNG's hey, Jesus that he didn't get <laughs> hit and didn't go down again. Jindavin Vega activates the uh, haste mid. 
I'm gonna have to be careful. Oh my god. Ouch. He just ran into that CM and was like, hey, why did he not? Me? Did he not notice? I don't know. I, I think mean, he was just been thought, like, there. I think he just thought because, like, I have haste. I'm pretty chilled here. <laughs> Invincible with all the speed. This was uh, speed. We see that the know. bat. Oh, bat rider might get out. No, it doesn't. We, got lot, we lost the Lunar as well during that time. Oh, yeah. Or maybe Died just had earlier. Uh, infest was used, so probably infest. Maybe insert the Furion as well, even. Furion now going back for his Midas, probably the right choice. Uh, makes trees in front of the name. <laughs> I think the next one is the TP, so the Furion was like, okay, I'll tree, and then he missed the trees, and then the next one. Like, okay. <laughs> whatever, just let's just go. <laughs> they're uh -huh. not really sustaining much pressure at all, so I uh, think they can do whatever they like. John picked up, I understand. He's got a ring of a Kia that's on as well, so he's gonna be difficult to push into and push it, and he can push quite well. Works well with the Ferian. Uh and he's got a DD in the bottle, so anyone hit by an arrow might go down here. So just Zanimat better be careful. Yeah, we're with the, yeah, we're with the DD could be quite scary. I, I, the Enigma though, getting that mechanism early on, I mean, at least that's a nice, comforting thought for the team. <laughs> Helbert also making quite a big mistake, I think, and like he saved up to like 2,300 gold, like he was going to go for Midas, and then that fight happened, and now he's just going for like boots, Ring of Akia, and like straight for BKB. Oh, yeah. big ult coming up, look at this. Well, is going to actually damage three heroes there, we've got the Star Storm onto Sphere, here it is, stun as well, it's going to be last hit from Morana. And we've got the Batrider comes in, he's trying to get a lasso going, but he's just going to throw his life away also. And Mal actually surviving this fight. Look who's running the game again. It's Alistair. Uh, he seems to be one of the absolute key players on Infinity, to be honest. Yeah, he's making lots of big plays. And yeah, he is sort of the the tempo controller for them and mm -hmm. probably the you know the the most skillful player in terms of what he can do. Infest used top by the next, obviously just to keep his health. They have two drums on their team now, which is interesting. But I mean, why not? They, they can go any ice since they want, they're really far ahead. Optimistic arrow there by Alistair. You gotta go for it. You know, he can't really lose anything at this point. With that positive attitude, that's, what, that's what's putting him in such good stead. It's like, <laughs> I'm gonna hit arrows. Even if I miss arrows, I'll still hit arrows. Exactly, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a mental thing as well, it's a philosophy. Yeah. It's like he's a vision board or something. He, <laughs> draw, he draws arrows hitting other heroes on, on his vision board, and then he's, he's all good. I mean, Gosh, no. Zerst, I don't Zerst is, is just farming up their jungle as well. Just yeah. Why not? I mean, he's here and he can be there. He can just uh, TP out. Zenimath is trying to sort of make something happen, but they're getting their wards dewarded. They're getting their map taken control over. Of, and, like, what are they going to do? They don't have a Venno ulti yet. Like, what can the Venno do? Squirt some wards. He's like a range creep at the moment. That makes wards. <laughs> that makes 15 gold for everyone. And we're going to get a second rush here, 13 minutes in. They're going for it. They know exactly what they're up to. Are they going to be able to do anything about it? Mal, miles away, Halberd, he's not really taking part in this. I think he just wants a bit of space to get his PKB. Oh, well, that's right in my control, but he's just skating over those cliffs, which is probably the right choice. Yeah. Sphere could be in trouble here. He's trying to go for a big black hole, but uh, IFG seems to be pretty well split. Oh, oh what? He just it blinks just... in there. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. There's going to be the Marana ulti, and there's no way for him to get out. He just pops his screen, but that was a suicidal bling. And here it is, Adistan picks off the Enigma. He's going to go for more here. This isn't enough. An attempted TP, actually, which almost went wrong with the move from Batrider. Yeah, the Batrider nearly saved him there, but now Zenimath's in trouble. He is going to go down here without a doubt. I mean, what is the words of advice that you would give? End. Um Is there anything because we obviously have the the I, th I think they just able to look at yeah, this. Yeah, sure. They need to it's 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 more about like focusing and remaining calm and like having a clear idea of what you want to do with your strategy at the beginning. Like I think this was better. Obviously the Russia wow. was a thing. Luna shouldn't be getting sort of picked off, but I mean the the plot him so far ahead, he's got a Yash, he's so quick. She it's he ridiculous it's, the fight. I understand. God like again. He was, he didn't die last game, he's not dying this game, it doesn't look like. So Alistair doing great work. Uh, yeah, like Mull probably needs to, you know, have a look at what he's been doing. Like maybe try also just calm down a bit in especially like with this rush situation, he definitely shouldn't have hasted in there and like once he got cold feeted he should have just run away, but he like went up the cliff to take another hit and then tried to run back and then got like the cold feet proc. 
Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, play to their strengths, man. When their ulti is up, they're really difficult to fight into. We saw that with that Enigma ulti. Looks like they they might try to get the next here. Nope. Oh no, and fast. Black hole on one. It does get the last two going, but look, all these heroes are just so weak right now. Can the Batrider get away? Oh, there's going to be the Star Storm. No survival there. Yeah, I know. Um, the air ult is doing massive work, like they can't fight. Into it. I feel it, it's also kind of you know, throwing things into Jin's face a little bit. They took the AA, they uh, they took the CM, and they're just they're doing a, a lot better job. Yeah, <laughs> supports it. They have done a lot of work. I mean, their supports went into the jungle, into three heroes. Mm -hmm. Came not better. It's like that was the last time Jin Moon got killed, was when the supports went in a bit too far and got black hole. Oh, Halberd just felt like taking an arrow to the face. There goes the A ulti. They're gonna, they're gonna go through. No. If they actually got a kill there, it would have been disgusting. Mal might go down. Mal's gonna go down. He's dead. That's pretty gross. There it is. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. I mean, that's up on your tier 2 tower. Like, I, I'm trying to have a look at the levels going on at the moment. Luna, level 11. He's kind of just in a, a mess of dire heroes that are all similar level to him. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't have like threats, so he hasn't, he's not like a threat at all. He almost goes BKB, which is, okay, that's defensive, but like, you have a BKB and then what do you do? Hmm. He, he, needs, he needs a lot more. Yeah. A lot more. And they're not going to be able to hold off from this. Let's have a look at the difference here. They're already sitting 17 minutes in, over 15,000 gold difference. XP I mean, completely the same. That's just sliding down. It's just wee. Yeah. Big fat fun slide. All the way down into depression. Just what are you Having a look at the net worth shot. also. I, it, it, again, Adistam. He's not even meant to be the hard carry of the team, but he just acts it. Yeah. Uh, it's sort of a bit almost mushy ish, where he's just this mid player that takes the lead and doesn't let go of it. You have to. You have to deal with him earlier. You have to do something to him. But he's on a hero that's very difficult to deal with unless you, you know, have a plan for it. Exactly. Are, are there any heroes in Jinbin or I mean, people who are standing I don't know why out? I just decided a... to catch that. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I just DC'd. DC'd? Yeah. Well, uh, hopefully, you won't need this too much. Do, uh, any players who you think are standing out in Jin um, as much as you can in a game like this? This game, uh, Spears Black Hole was really good. Boss, mm -hmm. that was a very good Black Hole. Uh, TJ Vega was doing all right, but then sort of like, you know, he was in just like a really, really difficult position that was almost like impossible to come back from. Um, Hellbird, I think, like, I think the, the big mistake as well with that bot fight was he was saving up gold, I think, from Midas, mm -hmm. which when your team's going behind isn't the greatest thing unless you can like ha you have a stabilization plan. So if he'd had boots there, I think he would have killed the next. And like. He, now he, he still has like brown boots unless he's farmed up really fast and he's just gone straight BKB because he like so desperately needs to BKB but like it doesn't matter now because he wasn't able to do anything because he didn't have like treads or like some yeah. damage sort of going through there I think we're seeing now, a last move actually from Jind yeah. at the moment they just smoked up uh, it from can mid work. they, they, they can still get killed yeah. a while not really oh, certain yeah. where they were going <laughs> oh Mally has a flank I don't know Again. Oh, they might actually pick up a kill over here. Uh, Luna's staying alive right now, but they've lost three already. DJ Vega trying to run away. He's going to be able to blink in just a couple of seconds' time. Oh, here comes the Fury. No, oh, that was close, and then the Nessent Bean comes out. So a little mini stun, but now Halberd might be in a lot of trouble. There it is, open wounds. He sacrifices himself for the sake of DJ Vega. <laughs> I have a little death. You should, you should just, just, just let your teammate go, man. Yeah. Don't try well, to be like, generous. <laughs> he's just uh, said, I see the fear and I'm gonna beam him. DJ Vega just scream and pain him and he's dead. And then like we both live and we both, we get a kill, which like we don't really have many of, so it's probably worth it even if we both die. At this stage, like yeah. just like get some glory. I mean, I've and seen Jind play before, and I think they played against a team that was rated far higher than uh, Infinity. I think it was maybe even against one of the Bravado, either Bravado Blue or was it? Yeah. It could have was it you guys? Maybe I don't know. Did they I, play you guys last week? No, we played uh, Bravado Black. 
Okay, so no, they would have played either Bravado Blue or Energy. They played Bravado Blue, yeah, last week. And they you played, played so much game. nicer. They did. So maybe they've just like, maybe IFG just watched that last game and like was like, who got strats? Or maybe IFG are just actually the team to watch out for. I yeah. Mean, they they have IFG have beaten uh, Bravado in some scrims. They've beaten they beat Live. They beat us in an ability draft tournament. Mm -hmm. Take that, whatever you will. But I mean. <laughs> It's a lotto that I've played quite a bit of that and it is a lotto. It was it was hard, game was hard. <laughs> I had to play supports. I hate supports. Oh! Enigma? No. Not Logic catching it this time. Are we gonna see another black hole? I hope so. I really hope so. That's I think cool. you should like sell everything for a blink dagger. Whoop! <laughs> CM bombs. Bam! Right. Everybody apparently, dies. Apparently CM bombs are the way to go these days. Oh, that was beautiful. Uh, and Mal just dies somewhere. Oh yeah, we've got Adesan who's just standing there hauling ass. Oh my god, man. What a, what a what disgusting a mess there for Jin. 30, 31 kills in both series. 20, just about 20 minute games each time. Jin yeah. Devin, 10 kills total in the series. Hang on, let me, let me have a look. So we've got the scoreboard just appearing right now. Luna got the only kills because remember they only got three kills because uh, yeah. Crystal Maiden died in the jungle. Oh yeah, to initial, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, who's on the AA? Because we've seen some fantastic.